Okay, so we're going to do a segment here and we're gonna talk about the importance of the lower spine and how this is going to help you and how this will equate to rotating better without sliding. So the first thing we need to understand is our sacrum and our tailbone. So if you look at this, this would be me if I had a tail right here, so I'm elongating this. Here is where sliding starts 101. Yep, this is where every single person that I see that slides, this is the number one thing I see them do. So when we look at this, people who slide, their lower spine tends to tilt more towards their back foot. So when we see that happening, this is where my pelvis is now moving linear because of what your spine is doing, not because of what your pelvis is doing. See, I can go move linear and I can turn still, but this is not a good spot because now I'm gonna have to slide to get back into impact. That's gonna be changing my upper body location, which is going to affect contact and low point. First thing I want you to understand, we're gonna take this stick and I'm gonna point it to my front heel. You see that if I point this to my front heel and I keep that here, I can continue to turn and I can't, I'm trying to get over to my left side and I can't do that until I change my lower spine. So I don't have the ability if I use my lower spine in the manner that I'm showing you to slide, reverse tilt and all this other stuff. So from face on, here's what this would look like. Boom, I'm turning that to my lead heel. I'm continuing to turn and this is what's keeping me centered and it's also creating a massive turn in my lower body. This will equate to speed and this will equate to rotation. So the first thing that I want you to understand, when we're hitting shots, whether it's a half shot, a three quarter shot, a full shot, my first move is to take my tailbone and point that more to my front heel. So I'm here, tailbone to my heel, and then I can turn through the shot like that. The other thing this will do for you, if I put this stick in the ground right here, and I put this to where this is the height of the lead side of my pelvis, as I turn, this is almost staying on there, and you'll notice my belt line is not getting any lower. I can throw mid-spine bend in, and I'm centered, and now I'm in a position to where I can push this back, and I can really start to turn fast in the downswing. This all has to do with how you operate and use your lower spine. So get a stick in here, put it on your front hip, and I don't want you tilting into it, I don't want you moving off of it, I want you to keep that. So as I'm turning my tailbone to my left heel, creating a big turn, this is still just on my left side, and this would be the position that I'm in as I'm moving from P1 all the way up to P4. Your lower spine is huge. We'll do another video where we're going to detail how you can use that in your downswing to equate to more speed and a lot more rotation.